Hi guys, welcome back to B Speed Shop. So in this week's video, I'm going to be setting up my rollover jig for my mini. So this particular rollover jig is from rolloverjigs.com. So they do um, rollover jigs for minis, uh, classic Volkswagens, and classic Fords as well. Uh, this one, it's got a full uh, five-page um, instruction manual with pictures, and there's also a separate document with reference pictures as well and it comes with all the hardware needed like the nuts and bolts they're all included in the kit as well so I'll quickly show you what I've got so this is the instruction manual uh, it starts off with setting up the A-frame which you can see uh, sort of in this picture you see the top of it where they bolt together with the uh, locking plate and then this is the document where it's got like different pictures of how it should look once it's actually in the car which you can sort of see there there's a few other pictures in there as well and the uh, instruction manual has pictures with each step as well so it shows you how it's installed in the car so this uh, this front piece is just placed in at the moment so where I had the rust over in that far corner I just um, wide brushed it to get rid of all the loose rust and then I painted it with some of my uh, cure rust just to treat it to make sure it won't go rusty again so this is the main front frame so what it does is you've got some big bolts which go through um, where the bolts for the rubber cones would go and then there's a, a thick plate that goes on the underside with a nut and bolt and then you've got these uh, supporting pieces which uh, bolt down there to where the steering rack would bolt onto. So this is all the hardware that the kit comes with. Um, so these are the two plates for the um, front brace where it mounts onto the uh, where the rubber cones would mount to so they go on the underside. Uh, this is the, um, the locking plate so obviously when you this bolts onto the uh, front piece so then you can spin it round and you've got a locking pin as well to hold it in place and then we've got all the nuts and bolts needed for the kit so these two long ones there for the front um, A-frame piece that bolts it all together and then these these two are slightly shorter and they go through the front frame where the uh, mounts for the rubber cones would go so I'll just get out what I need from this packet for now and obviously the two plates as well and then we'll get that first piece bolted in so I've got this front frame piece uh, it's just loosely bolted in for now but my plan is to tighten it up when I actually make the A-frame piece which bolts on there somewhere so as you can see they bolt through there and there's I'll go around this way so you can see that there's a thick plate there with the nut on that side and then for these bits they obviously bolt on here but then down they bolt onto the bulkhead down there there's a hole either side where they bolt through so I've got this uh, rear piece uh, just loosely bolted in now but as you can just about see there is a gap between the square bar and the top of that edge where the shock comes through so obviously now that that's not touching the box section isn't gonna damage that little top edge so it should be fine so now what I need to do is get the uh, next piece bolted in which, oh, just... so the next piece bolts in you know, these two holes and then there's like a bar which runs along the top which should bolt in um, through one of these holes here somewhere I think so I'll quickly get that in and then show you how it goes together so I've got that extra support piece in there now so now that's bolted in on these and I've tightened up those uh, nuts and bolts as well on the actual main piece but what I'm gonna have to do unfortunately that bar that runs through it runs through just here somewhere so what I'm going to have to do is uh, drill some holes to put these nuts and bolts through. But what I should be able to do is, um, if I come from underneath, what I can do is just 
put the drill through the hole there and then I should be able to drill straight through the uh, parcel shelf and then I can bolt that down in tightly and then pretty much almost ready obviously the last bits are the A-frames which are down there and then they go through the same bolt as the A-frames so obviously it spins on through this point here that's where it spins through and I've got the feet as well so obviously what I would have to do tomorrow is uh, clear all this stuff away I might try and take some of this stuff home and see if I've got room for it in my shed so all I'm going to do for now is just pack away a few of my parts that I took off the car uh, and then I'll come back to this tomorrow and get the A-frames made up and then we'll actually try and get it to roll over tomorrow as well. So my plan for today is to make the rear A-frame first and then I'll move on to the front, get the front A-frame made up and then I'll tighten everything up, double check it and then we can roll over the Mini. So I've got the rear A-frame assembled now. And as you can see, it's got the feet at the bottom, and it's got this bar which runs along, which you can obviously change the position, which changes the height. And you can also change the height on these holes here. So I think the recommended one is the second from the bottom one. So now I can move on to the front. I've got the front A-frame all assembled. the front A-frame all made up now with the uh, plate on as well so that's like the location plate uh, the front frame that's all in and tightened down now so the only thing I've left to do on the back is I've got to drill those holes for uh, those bolts there so I, I've got a drill bit which is the right size so I'm just going to come from underneath and feed it through this hole and drill a hole straight through and then I can get that bolt in and then I can get these tightened down and these are pretty much tightened but I want to double check them and then once that's all done it'll be ready to put in the rotisserie so now I just need to find a way of lifting it up high enough so I can get these lined up with the um, second to bottom holes is what's recommended so that's where I'm aiming to get them so the mini is actually attached to the rollover jig at the back and at the front now quickly show you this is what it looks like I'll give you a quick demonstration of how it works as well so obviously in the location plate you've got this pin which holds it in place it's quite simple I just so now that the pins not in it's not 100% perfectly balanced I don't know if you'll be able to see it is sort of leaning over a little bit it's not too much it's all right it's pretty easy as well, just to do it one handed, just roll it over and then obviously just put the pin in, Let's see if I can get a better clip of rolling it over.
So I'm quite happy that I was able to put together my rollover jig and get it installed this weekend. Uh, now that that's done, obviously we can start doing some proper work on the Mini. Obviously we need to mark out on the floor the parts I need to cut out and replace with the new panels. So uh, next weekend I'm probably just going to strip all the under seal and the paint off from the floor panels and then I can mark out where I need to uh, cut so I can have a little overlap so I can weld it all in. Uh, I'll be leaving this video here for today so thanks very much for watching.